Hello. Hi. It's us. It's the Linkster and the Linkster. Over there, the Linkster. And that's the Golem of the Dice. Oh, wait, I gotta do it this way. Because my camera's over here, not over there. Linkster. Linkster. We're here. Linkster. It's Batman. We have two weeks of painting left. It's true. And this one's going to be pretty simple, I think. I think uh, Linkster's doing like four of them because uh, Catwoman and Isis are real quick and easy to do. Catwoman and Isis are just slap some paint down, gray, put a little black down, you're done. Isis? Black. Just drop her in the black paint, call it a day. Yeah. The two that I'm really going to work on, since, you know, we that's the last villain... We're, we're going to finish up painting with the heroes. Mm -hmm. With uh, Harvey, Book, and the man with the stash himself. Jim Gordon. Jim Gordon. See the stash? Look at the stash. Envy the stash. You know, it occurs to me, looking at the stash, that oh. adjacent to the stash... Is no chat. We can't read chat. <laughs> of course not. You can't read the chat. No. But that being said, I've got Aubrey Montoya on my side. And if I get done with her quickly, which I, I don't plan on, then I'll, I'll grab someone else and we'll, we'll see where we're going. The only, the only ones left to do after these guys is the bat, the bird, and the girl. The bad girl. Ah. I was like, there's a couple girls. But. Supergirl? Um, no, she's in one of the other boxes. In the Batman game? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's in one of the other boxes. But, um, last week we did finish up some minis. Yeah, and you, you kind of want to see them. You kind of want to see them up close. I took some pictures. I didn't make you wait, did I? Uh -huh. And if uh -huh. you're telling uh -huh. us, yes, you did make us wait. You... You might be right, because uh, I can't read chat. I don't know what's going on. There we go. The Pengi looking mighty nice. Arr. I did, however, forget one thing on Two-Face. What's that? His mouth. He's, he's just... Uh, he's grinning from... Stern. He's grinning. And the Riddlers looks real oh, nice. The purple you got was real nice, I think. That was beautiful. Oh, yeah. And, of course, there's Harley. I love, I love the cork. It was like, cork gun. Yep. Harley looks pre pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. And then you got the man himself with the really fucked up hair. <laughs> <laughs> From this angle, it looks like he's got a bowl cut. <laughs> he does. It's a bowl cut. <laughs> And something else I didn't do with the penguin here, now that I'm looking at him. Well, he needs a, a white uh, dot in his one eye that doesn't have the monocle. And I didn't make mm, right, right. Two-Face's teeth. I didn't whiten his teeth. But that's an easy fix. I can put the white into his mouth to make... Because he's got the sneer on the one side. Right. But this guy's fine. I'm done with him. Are you sure? Because, uh... Nothing I have to do with him. There's a teeny tiny question mark you could put on him if you really, really want oh, to. Oh, that's right! Wasn't that supposed to be on his tie? Yeah, because instead of having it all over his jacket, it's just the tie that has the one. But, I could do that. I could do that. Let's go look at the painting, uh, stream, because... <laughs> we need to look at the painting stream thing there. Oh, I can kind of like, read chat there. You can read chat. See? Can I? Yeah. I mean... Yeah, you can read. I can read. All right. Look at that. Look at me reading. Yeah. He's just... Because I didn't have the dock up for the stream chat. That's all. You know she's serious business because Montoya. Montoya has a shotgun. Renee Montoya. Did you, did you know that um, her father was not killed and she's not looking for a six-fingered person? 
I know that Montoya is, is the last name. But I'm pretty sure that's the case of every Montoya except one. Yeah, his name is Inigo. Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. All right. So, we're going to shift. I've got the, uh, the GCPD over here to help color match. Yep. Got wait, wasted. Hello, girl. Team. Do you need to go outside before I start painting? Man, I hope not. It's smoky out there. It is. The uh, Quebec wildfire is really causing us issues here. Yeah. Go on. Go on. Go on. Then enough. Quit bugging. I gotta stand up anyways because here I am going... I need this, I need that, I don't have. You didn't get the gray, did you? Nope, I've got some browns, and I've got the wasted jeans blue. Okay, I'll take the filthy suit for now, because I need the gray, and I need the dead black. I'll come back for some flesh tone. No, I won't. Kill set. That works for me. Mm -hmm. Flesh tone. I need a brown. I'll come back for that. Okay, I'm coming back, see? Paints. Yeah, I didn't grab my paints before I started the stream. Sue me. Uh, do you take uh, ten dollar denominations of sewage? No. <laughs> okay, I'll have to see you for a full fifty then. Oh, you know what? I like the Averell sunset for his pants. Oh? They're not quite the same color, but. Could deal with that, and then the brown for the shirt. Unless, yeah, okay, the brown for the shirt. I'm a little dark though. It's a bit dark. We're dark, oh, man. I've got the um, oh, brown. I've got a nice tan here. If you want it as well, the bony spikes mm -hmm. and the dirt splatter as well. I'm going to use oak brown for his jacket. Okay. Um, I might mix that with that a little bit. I need a weird. What's that? Okay. Zombie skin it is. Zombie skin? Yeah, don't, uh, don't ask. Zombie skin? I need zombie skin for, his, for Jim Gordon's shirt. Really? Yeah. I'm just taking all the paints now, so I don't have to get back up later. Fair. Absolutely fair. I don't know why, but I am. We are going to have to get up later, because, you know, that's just how we roll. Yeah, we have to get up, stretch the legs, you know, that sort of craziness. Yeah. Okay. Now that I'm sitting down, let's move all these off of here. Let's start with these two. I don't even know what, what color is her whip supposed to be, because she doesn't have a whip in her hand. You are ridiculous. 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 How dare she? Eh, it's gotta be it's gotta be brown. We'll just make it brown. We'll do that. Alright. Okay, big old brush here. A character brush. This one's a good one. We'll start with the character brush. Let her down a little bit. And let's, uh... Woo! <laughs> Wee! Good thing it wasn't open. Otherwise you'd have a very colorful floor. That wouldn't have been that colorful. <laughs> it would just been extra gray. Ah, uh, well... Yeah, just a little extra gray. Lork. Need a lot of gray. So we'll put that. Oh, I need a lot of lumps. I 
I would show you guys my shirt, but I'll just talk about it instead. Okay. Did you see it? You can see it. I mean, I can see it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a Scooby-Doo shirt, but instead of the people in the mystery machine, it's Bugs Bunny as Fred and um, Daffy as Shaggy. Tweety as Velma. <laughs> the Tasmanian Devil as Scooby. I thought I'd toss Scooby Snack. And I forget the... Lola. Lola is a... Uh, Daff. Well, she'd have to be. The only female rabbit. I mean, the only other Daphne that you could possibly have would be a hilarious one of... The cat who gets accidentally painted as a skunk. Or the old lady. Not true. True. <laughs> that would be just wrong. Alright, let's go. Let's go, shall we? Painting. Minis. Yeah. Let's get her done. Gray, gray, gray. Nice, easy. Slip that right in there. Paint it all around. I've got this mini that I want to paint it blue. She has a mold line at her uh, belt. A belt mold line? Yeah, it is a belt mold line. I mean... The grayest butt cheeks I've ever seen. <laughs> I need to turn my light up a little bit because I cannot see if I've actually painted her butt cheeks or not. The grays are pretty close. Well, it's it's more the light. I need the light on so I can see whether or not the gray has covered the uh, primer. Oh, fair. Because the mini itself was a gray before I primed it. And it's in this light, it's a little difficult to see if I've actually gotten all the nooks and crannies of her skin tight suit. There. Just gotta shove a brush right up there. <laughs> I did too. She didn't whip me for it either. She doesn't like you. She only whips the people she likes. Yeah, like the Batman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Constantly, you know, purring with him. So, where the heck is that line? I know where the line is for the boots, but I don't see the line for the arms. Interesting. Then we'll just have to go all the way down our arm then. Pick a spot and then we'll do the black. Because her suit is a gray and then she's got like black gloves that go past her elbows. Like evening wear. Yeah, but with cat ears. So like late evening wear. I guess so. <laughs> oh man, my allergies are just bananas because of that frick smoke. Yeah, woke up to a nice orange tint on everything. <laughs> yeah, and then some. Crikey. Wait. Oh, wow. Okay. I guess. What's up? 
I'm, I'm looking at either a mold line or I don't know. For her mask. I honestly don't know if it's a mold line or just something. Hmm. Yeah, with Catwoman, she is, uh... I'm gonna turn this up a little bit more. That's a little better. It's just this gray I picked for her is a little... Too close to the gray of the mini after it was a uh, hit with the uh... that's how it goes unless you're priming them in like brilliant pink yeah you don't want to do that because you want it to you want to have a nice color foundation. Yeah. Not something you need to work hard to cover up. Correct. I say as if I actually know what I'm talking about. No, you're right. You are correct. Let you dry. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna slather some black. How oh, for that matter, I should just like do her face. Do Isis's face in the black. Yeah. Then put the yellow of the eyes in. And then leave her for the very end when I paint everything, everybody's base. Well, you know what? That's fair. But I'm going to paint her all up so I have something to hold when I do the base. Um, let's get this going. Let's get some of this dirt splatter. All right. <laughs> I started painting, and I got to get a pair of either or something. This will work. Not a pair of tweezers, but they'll work. It's a pretty big pair of tweezers. <laughs> Somebody dropped some hair on the cat. Usually it's the other way around. Hey. Hair of the cat. Yeah, I just needed something to grab that hair that was stuck on it. Yeah. I almost thought for a split second that the lower part of Montoya's hair was actually like a balled up hoodie hood back here. A balled up hoodie hood? It's like, I didn't know that the GCPD were wearing hoodies on the job. They're undercover, don't you? With their badges and shotguns? Yep. I don't know what they want to be undercover for, but man, I'm serious about it. 
Yeah, it's the new way of uh, undercover cops hiding in plain sight, but look like you belong from a distance. <laughs> okay, GCPD. You know what, Harv? Let's take a little bit of this crystal blue, shall we? Crystal yeah. blue. Yeah. Drop a little crystal. Don't. I don't think that's what you mean. Blue. Into this gray. Take this mixing brush and let's mix it on up. All right, Harv. You're sad. Sad Harv? Sad Harv. I'm gonna use what I can of what's on this brush to paint his jacket, and then I'll go back and hit it with a smaller brush. That noise you're hearing is my paintbrush. It's either that or the dog. You got a 50 50 shot. So, since I'm painting Harvey, we should mention something here. Okay. About the GCPD, otherwise known as the Gotham City Police Department. Incompetent fools. No. Um. <laughs> Outclassed, maybe. They, when Batman started his reign of terror on crime, GCPD actually thought he was a threat. And Harvey led the charge to stop the threat known as the Batman. But when um, it, it was uh, discovered it was a case of mistaken identity because Batman was mistaken for a bat monster that was terrorizing Gotham. Oh, it must have been Man Bat. Man Bat, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was indeed a Man Bat. Um, let's see. It wasn't until after that that Jim Gordon, the commissioner, decided to install a bat signal as a means of contacting and or summoning the Batman when his help was needed. Which ended up being an awful lot of times. Especially if, you know, watching the 90s cartoon. Hell, watching any of the shows. Batman was needed a lot. Because, you know, it'd be no fun to have an entire show where you have the bat signal, but then not use it. Well, I mean, the show Gotham was all about the city pre-Batman. And the cops there were 
sort of competent. But Gordon, of course, was not commissioner at the time. Still working up the ranks. Still working up the ranks. Harve was a detective at the time. But it was a good show. It was a good show. I've heard some good things about it, yeah. Harvey, though, he was, um, I thought he was actually created for the TV show. Yeah. He wasn't. For the, for the cartoon. Mm. He was actually created by, um, he was created, where, oh, where the hell did I put that? I know I wrote it down somewhere. I mean, he was a staunch opponent of the Batman. Mm -hmm. You know, gruff, tough guy exterior. Um, I, why is it that he's not... Oh, there it is. Yeah, he was created in 74 by Archie Goodwin. In the comics. In the comics, yes. Oh. He was a lieutenant at the time. So he wasn't actually a detective. Okay, okay. It wasn't until his reappearance in the 80s that he became a detective. It was actually contested who, hey Martin, who, hey. Uh, who actually created him. Oh, really? Yeah. Because the uh, people in the 80s that wrote him up, they thought that they created him. But come to find out, it was actually given to Archie Goodwin from the 70s. Interesting. Yeah, thought it was. That's pretty interesting. That doesn't sound good. You don't usually want to make noises like that when you're painting. No, you don't. But Harvey has a blue face. Well, that was the other Harvey. Yeah, well, this one has part of a blue face, too. <laughs> At least for right now. Temporary. Temporary blue face. Yeah. And if he was green, he would die. If he was green... Yeah. Why? He's blue, and if he was green, he would die. 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 Okay. I'm blue, and I would be, I would die. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that it was... That he was talking about the color green. He isn't. It's just a, a common enough uh, thought of what those nonsense lyrics actually sound like. Oh, I'm blue, da ba dee da boo da. That's it. That's the one. Huh. Har 
Harvey Bullock, he was voiced by Robert Costanzo in the cartoon. His only other appearance in live action or cartoon, because he was in various other cartoons after BTAS. Right. But Donald Loeb played him in the Gotham TV series. I don't know any of those names. Because he was created after the Batman TV show of the 60s. He wasn't in there. True. Which is why you had, um, with Gordon, you had that cop. Oh, I can't remember his name now. The Italian sounding, real Italian voice. Giuseppe. <laughs> not, not Italian. Irish. Giuseppe. <laughs> O'Reilly? I don't remember his name. McDougal? That's more Scottish, I guess. I'm just alienating our entire European audience at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh... Okay, so let his coat dry before I switch over to some other colors on him. Let's go to Jimmy. Good old Jim. Jim Gordon. Let's switch over to some Jim Gordon. Okay, his jacket is simply going to be a nice, beautiful brown. There's a nice flowing jacket. Jim Gordon. There was only two instances that I can think of, mm -hmm. and I'm correct me if I'm wrong, audience, but I am pretty sure there was only two instances where Jim Gordon was without his signature stash. You mean he was clean shaven at some point? He was. What? And if I am not mistaken, the only two times that I know of was in the Gotham TV show, which, you know, Jim Gordon was featured quite a bit on. Yep. Trying he, to deal with all these crazy villains. He never had his stash. There was the fourth season... Where he had his stash for like an episode or two. Hmm. And he was told to get rid of it because it looked like a dead caterpillar. But that's the kind of stash you want. You want a dead caterpillar stash if you want to be a real commissioner. If you want to be a real cop, you got to have that cop stash. Signature. It's true. You're not allowed to promote you until you got one. And the only other time that he did not have that stash was in the Batman movie oh. when he was portrayed by um, Jeffrey Wright. They didn't get him a stash. No, that was actually the, uh, the first African American to play Jim Gordon. They changed out Jim Gordon from an aging white guy to an aging black man. Nice. Very, very nice. It was a pretty good portrayal. Hey, Slayer, you are subscribed. How's it going? Nice to see you. You know, can you... Put a message up in the uh, chat real quick. I want to see something. Ooh. 
Because if you look at Martin... I did see that there was a cool thing. Martin's got two stripes. Slayer didn't put it on his uh, list. But you can only have three icons? I mean, first is a good one to have, though. First is. Martin has the, uh, the corporal stripes. Which indicates two months, or three, no, that's three months of service. Mm. I think. Getting fancy. I, I made these things up, and I don't even know what the hell I called them. <laughs> because one, one stripe was one month. The private first class, which is the stripe and the chevron underneath, the rocker underneath, is two. The two stripes is three. No, I, I think the first is because Slayer was literally number one, the first to subscribe. Yes. Not in the first month. Yeah, he joined up. So I'm going to be number one. And there you go. There. Yep. I don't know what the first actually is because... When I subscribed to Silent, I was first. Really? And so was he. Was it the... Then I have no idea. Then I don't actually know. Because I had, I had the first on mine. That is an excellent question I do not know the answer to. Yeah, I don't know. Let's get a teeny tiny brush. little bit of the shirt. Oh, you got a Versus? The heck is Versus from? Founder equals first? I don't know what Founder means either. And we got a versus and whatnot. That's cool. Yeah, you could display whatever badges you want to display. <laughs> uh, it's one of those things that, oh, I got this. Neat. And then you forget about it for the rest of eternity. Yeah. Until some silly stream down the line asks where it came from. And then you're like, duh. Good question. I don't actually remember. Who keeps track anyway? Yeah, like I'm going to keep track of where I got my uh, hot tub icon. <laughs> hot tub icon. I don't know. I don't think they give out icons for that. I think they just give out Twitch bands. They're not Twitch bands though. Because none of these girls are banned. <laughs> And the crazy thing is, now they've moved on. Some of them aren't doing hot tubs. They're just scantily clad playing Diablo 4. Fair enough. Saw that the other day, I'm like, what? What does your... Hep... <laughs> I mean, if I wore a skimpy top and played Diablo 4 on screen, I think I'd be banned. Because they don't want to see this. Oh, the founders are people subbing within the first hour of getting a partner. Huh. Within the first hour of getting partner? Wait, Silent has partner? Yeah, she does the channel points and everything. Well, that's affiliate. Well, then, partner then is he different. means affiliate. Because we're not partner. We're definitely not partnered. So we only just got started. No, you've been going for a while. She's had affiliate for a while. Yeah, but not partnered. No, partner is... That you would be having to 
do a lot of streaming with. Yeah. I will probably never get partner. I mean, there's a chance I could, but I think that chance is slim. Yeah. I just I just want Insta upload. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when they did mobile Diablo, it was like, oh, you know, just price gouging? Great. Microtransaction hell? I mean, it's hell. I guess that's par for Diablo. Diablo. And then Diablo 4 being what it is. Well, microtransactions are microtransactions. They're yeah, but, all over the place. Yeah, but there's a difference between, hey, would you like to? And every action you do, Pay oh, it win. could be faster. Oh, it could be better. Oh, you could get this cool thing. Oh, oh, can oh you yeah. do this? Those I hate. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Now, and those are prevalent in your mobile games. Play the mobile games that don't shove it down your head and just say, if you want to, you can get a cool thing. Okay. Oh, here's a little tidbit about Gordon mm -hmm. that you may or may not know. He has been... Portrayed in live action by six different people. Wow. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. The Diablo, the whole like, idea is great. D2 was so good. I never got into Diablo 3. And then... Poof. Diablo was a graphical representation of the OG Rogue. Really. Because the first Diablo was nothing more than a Rogue. In a 3D look. With graphics. Was Rogue that heavy on uh, pseudo-Christian mythology? No. Rogue was was a dungeon crawler back in the early 80s mm -hmm. and monsters were letters the word the the whole thing was done in like ASCII art oh, kind of thing I know Rogue we are painting I'm painting Opera Montoya with our lovely shotgun and we've got Linkster painting a whole bunch of them over there because they're super quick. Oh. <laughs> yeah, show me that camera, though, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just holding up to the camera that's not on right now. These four. <laughs> Isis is almost done. I just have to do her yellow eyes. Catwoman's almost done. I just have to do her black and her gold and her face. Bullock has started, and Gordon has started. I got the bigger areas done first. I really, I really played a lot of Diablo 2. These are so good. It was a lot of fun. Just loot and destroy. And... Would you like to try one of these? Oh, yeah. Let me give those a shot. Let me see. In case you're curious, everybody, this is what he's trying. A Muddy Bite. And these are the white chocolate White ones. chocolate ones. Oh, so good. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Mm -hmm. They're good. I can't reach her because I'm looking through the mirror or the magnifier. Mm -hmm. Okay, bring it back up. Um. <laughs> All right, let's go to black. And let's get her some boots on. Nice. I mean, for me, Diablo 3 looked interesting. I just, 
for some reason, just didn't get it. Just decided not to. Yeah, I, I don't know if I have... I have that somewhere. D3? Yeah. Hidden on a hard drive somewhere? D2. Ah, uh, D2. It's so and good. D1, I've got that too. Got it all. <laughs> I got the old discs and no way to put them on my machines. Obsolete technology and all. No, that's typical. Because uh, Play-Doh is uh, designed to emulate food. I mean, it smells delicious. I never ate Play-Doh. No, but you can certainly design a hamburger out of Play-Doh. I mean, you can design anything out of Play-Doh. That's the whole point. Right. But they have specific kits to... You know, shape it into burgers and stuff. Oh. Which is really fucked up, but hey. The kids are eating it already. Well, let's put it into food shapes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Just a little, little silly. Hey, a cat and a bat. <laughs> Yeah, I don't imagine that it would taste very good. All right, Catwoman. How far up your arm does it... Oh, it goes up quite a ways. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Catwoman's getting her black on. Her arms. She's already got it on her legs. Oh, good to hear. Till the boots dry, then you can touch them. <laughs> order, order. Okay. Looking all right. I think I'm ready to take some black to it. You think so? Would you mind passing over the dead black? Dead black! Ugh. It's black, but it's dead. <laughs> it's black, but it has student loans. <laughs> it's been dead for quite some time. La, da, 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 da. You know, I decided the pink cat woman after the fact. Yeah. So I didn't get any facts about her. Oh, I have a fact about her. Is it the fact that she was played by three different actresses in the uh, Batman 60s cartoon? Or movie, uh, TV show? I no longer have a fact about her. <laughs> <laughs> was that actually your fact? No, I was going to say she's a girl. Oh. Because, you know, that's all I know. Well, she is at that. She likes cats. 
True. She likes uh, shiny things too, like jewelry. And other fun things. She can be a real pain in Batman's butt. Mm -hmm. She can be a pain in his face too when she's kissing him. <laughs> I don't think that's how cats kiss. Bats maybe. Cats I don't know. <laughs> All right, cat one. Let's do your face now. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, cat one. What's it look like? Looks like that. What's new, pussy cat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. All right, this is a weird mask. I'm just going to have to paint over her eyeballs and then fix her later. Yeah. Because I honestly have no idea how to do this mask properly. She's daughter of one of the powerful mob bosses? Really? Huh. So... Which one? So she gets away with whatever she wants because, you know, cement shoes. You come to me on the day of my daughter's thievery. Because obviously mob bosses are all Italian or Russian. That's how it goes in the movies. Ooh, donuts. Have fun, Martin. Time to make the donuts. Didn't know you worked at Duncan. No, I think the donuts are better than Duncan's. Rex Calabrese, don't know him. I can honestly say I do not know that mob boss. I don't think the mob boss played a prominent role in the uh, Catwoman Batman relations. No. Oh, new comic stuff. It's her new origin. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's her new origin stories. Speaking of an origin story, mm -hmm. Renee Montoya. Yeah. She was actually the second character created for the Batman TV show, the Batman animated series. That was featured in the cartoon technically before she became part of the comics. Oh. All right, all right. She was created by Bruce Tim, Paul Dini, and Mitch Bryan. But she was preemptively introduced in the mainstream comics before the airing of her animated debut in 92. Hmm. So they created the character and got it all set up for the comic mm -hmm. after they had already created it and gotten it all prepared for the cartoon. 
Mm-hmm. Neat. And she was originally conceived as a heterosexual widow. Mm-hmm. She was later redeveloped as a lesbian and the primary love interest of Kate Kane slash Babylon. Aww. Nice. But in this cartoon, she's a widow whose husband was also a police officer before he was killed in the line of duty two years prior to the start of the series. She's an honest, strong-willed police officer, frequently partnered with Bullock, Detective Harvey Bullock. Mm -hmm. And she is also an openly supportive Batman fan. Nice. Nice. Is it Condiment King? <laughs> uh, yeah. Batman villain has yet to see a live action counterpart. Condiment King. Kite Man. Um, Rat King. Um, Clock King already was, because he was in the 60s cartoon, or TV show. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> Except for all those stupid ones no one cares about. <laughs> Clayface. Has there never been a live action Clayface? Nope. Just because the technology wasn't there to do good CGI. Correct. Just do an old Batman, but have like an actual claymation counterpart. Um, I would say Jervis Tech also, but I can't because in the 60s TV show, he was in there. I think Clayface was the one he was thinking of. Yeah. Don't forget, you've also got uh, Scarface. He's not a silly Batman villain. I don't know Scarface off the top of my head. That's the puppet. Oh. The the old man with the... Uh... Yeah, ventriloquism. The ventriloquist. Yeah. Who's a mobster. What is that phrase, the multiple personalities? Uh, dissociative identity. Yeah. Dissociative identity disorder, DID. Him. He has DID, and if you don't pay attention to his other half, he will make you DED. <laughs> yep. Sounds right. Oh, wait, that's... Fr- wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hmm. No. He wasn't... Scarface, I think, was in the Gotham TV show. Oh, yeah? I think he was. Oh, I think so. Look that up. Let me know if I'm right. Because I might actually be right on that, and it sucks <laughs> that they put Scarface in that show. I could swear I think they. I swear I think they did it. Matt Hatter. I don't know Matt Hatter. I only know Matt Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. 
Um, Jervis Tech is the Mad Hatter. He actually uses the whole Alice in Wonderland uh, theme. Okay. Well, in the comics and most of his other portrayals are of the Alice in Wonderland effect. In the 60s TV show, he was not. He was an Irishman because he had red hair and had that classic Irishman look to him. Yeah. That, you know, he was a haberdasher who went nuts. Like you did. And put all kinds of, you know, funky equipment in his uh, hats. Is he going to the same guy as the penguin does for uh, his umbrellas? No, he made his own stuff. No, Scarface is in Gotham. I thought so. Been a while since I've seen Gotham. And I forgot whether he was in there or not. And now I know that he indeed was. So, who is the most used Batman villain in live action? I mean, if I had to make a guess based on popularity alone, Joker. Yeah. Yeah, Slayer agrees. And yeah, I think Clayface must be the only one without a live action. Mm, excuse me, live action counterpart. Out of his, um, main kind of opponents. Yeah, the main ones. I'm gonna give my fingers a slight rest while um. Bullock's pants dry because they're wet. Oh, did Bullock have an accident? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> he had an accident. I am gonna grab myself a little, uh, a little drink. Oh. Slayer says there's at least seven different actors for the Joker. In live action? I'm assuming, yeah. Because, you know, right. technically Mark Hamill is not live action. Ah. He is not. So, can you name him? Man, no. Can you name all the live action jokers? Starting with number one. And if you get it wrong, you're not a Batman fan. Chris Hemsworth. Benedict Cumberbatch? Cumberbatch? Uh, ben Stiller. The main actor from The Room? The first Joker. Live action. Cesar Romero. Yeah, so there are only Jack Nicholson, four. Heath Ledger, Jared Leto, plus the guy from the Gotham TV show. So there's five total live action Jokers. Well, six. There's only six. Who's the sixth? The guy from the Batman. The cutscene. Cutscene? There was a cutscene for the movie that showed him. Locked up. Okay. They said he was the... That he was the Joker.
Um, all right, what's the next color here? Jimmy, my boy. My boy. Yo, Jimmy. Boy. Jimmy, you need some pants, too. All right, have fun. Bye. See ya. Adios. Ciao. <laughs> See ya, Slayer. <laughs> Arrivederci. I need to say all. All right. Did I do that one right? Mm -hmm. Don't look at me. I barely speak one language. I'm trying to think if it's... It's been so long since I spoke Korean to anybody. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I wouldn't be able to prove you wrong. So. They have they have two different ways to say it. It's either um, anikaseo or anigaseo. One means by I'm leaving. The other one is basically by I'm staying. Oh, so like goodbye I'm leaving and goodbye to you who is leaving. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Something like that. Yes, in live action he was the toy maker. Joker? Mark Hamill. Oh. Uh. Because it'd be too weird to have the Joker be Mark Hamill. And in live action, Mark Hamill was actually the trickster. Not the toy maker? The Flash TV show. He was the trickster. But that's... That's the Flash. Uh-huh. I thought the toy maker was still in the Batman universe. Um, in the Gotham show he was. Everybody knew he was coming to the Gotham show, and they thought he was going to be Joker. No, he was a toy maker. Gotcha. There, there was, um... The reason why he played the trickster in the uh, Flash, the original Flash TV show from the early 90s, mm -hmm. and he portrayed him again in the Grant Gustin Flash TV show. He portrayed the trickster from Earth 90. The reason it the reason why he portrayed him is because the trickster was actually DC's way of putting the Joker up against the Flash. Oh. They, without, without crossing universes specifically. They without without taking the Joker out of Gotham. Right. They had to give him something else. So they did. You know, Gordon, you're, you got too much paint in your crotch. <laughs> Bet that's the first he's ever heard of that. Sure. I kind of like your pants, though, dude. <laughs> They're this really neat, well, Averell Sunset colored pants. <laughs> They're a nice light tan. Almost a yellowy color. Nice. I mean, I suppose they should be a little more tanned, but, yeah, they work. You know what? I got up. Did you want a, uh, another drink? You know, I would love a drink. Thank you. Um, do you still have any of that strawberry Dr. Pepper? You mean this one right here? Why, yes. And it's even unopened. You are so kind. Don't even have to get up. 
Yes, I do. Because I didn't get mine. <laughs> I mean, I did get mine. I gave it to you just now. Well, thank you. Oh, man. You know what? Hmm. The Quebec smoke from wildfire has um, evaporated away for right now. You say that. For right now. The wind has shifted, maybe. The wind has shifted, and it's actually nice out right now. If you if you were to look outside here in western New York, you know, it says the it, sun it, is actually <laughs> yellow. The uh, air quality is still 194, and that's not fantastic. But at least no. it's not creeping to 300. No. No, I'm just... The reason why I'm saying it is the sun is, not ye- is, is yellow now instead of red. That's good. Those of you who had Canada is on fire for their Apocalypse Bingo card, but you're proud of yourselves right now. (laughs) All right. Um... Almost fresh out. Hmm. 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 There, the manic yellow sounds good. I also got the bony spikes if you want a tanner. Nope. Yellow. I need bright yellow. Okay. I also need gold. Gold, 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 gold. Bright gold. Hey, bright gold. You did actually use the gold for the, uh, the badges, right? I did. I think. Looking at the beat cop. Let me see the beat cop. There you go. Yep, I did. Okay, because I'm going to have to use that too for Officer Montoya's badges. Badges? We don't need no stinking badges. (laughs) I mean, the police kind of do. I was going to say something, but I'm going to move on. Here, I'll roll it over to you. Thank you. Moving on up. Moving on up. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait. That's good times. Yeah, we're not allowed to sing about good times until we actually have good times. Just saying. No, I'm talking about a TV show. As opposed to, like, The Flash. It was an old 70s TV show. Let me get back to the tiny brush. The gold really needs to be um, shook up a bit because it's kind of clumpy. Okay. I'm going to touch up a bit of the black and then get started on some badges. What, the badge? Well, I've got, like, shoulder badge, hat badge, oh yeah, yeah. chest badge. I've got a few badges. What was that noise? (laughs) That was me going, hmm, I have some gold here. I should put cat nipples on her uniform. But then I was like, nope, nope, this is not the Tim Burton universe. (laughs) 
I'm glad you have restraint. <laughs> it's the mere thought of just putting him on there. And that was the problem. Just because Tim Burton gave in to his urge doesn't mean we have to. Nope. We do not have to. What I do have to do is put this bright demonic yellow on the ground. Because I need to take this tiny little brush here. It's the Wargamer Insane Detail Brush. It's insane. Insane detail. And we're going to go to this little cat here. Pick up some paint. Get the fur off of her again. And then drop the cat. No, oh, like you do. Looking good. Her own eye, though, is a little bit too big. Which, it'll just have to be a drug over with the black when it's strong. Yeah. Just a touch. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum. What happened? Well, her arm fell into black. <laughs> oh, no. a good good tasting thing. That's so good. I don't think I'm ready for flesh tone. No. I mean I suppose I could put the flesh tone on. Just to get it out of the way. Yeah sure why not. Usually I say flesh tone for later, but since I don't have a lot left of Catwoman to do, I might as well just pull out the flesh tone and start fleshing it up. This Kilsev flesh. It's hard to see where her eyeballs are, though. <laughs> little bit more to fix the giant mistake in brown. Are I you? almost just did it again. Are you getting close to being done with her? Mm, not particularly. I mean, I'm more than halfway. Oh, okay. Cool. It's a good start. She ends up with one arm bigger than the other <laughs> because I dipped her in a giant thing of black paint and had to cover it up. Eh, she's been working out. Just, just the one hand. Yeah, yeah, she's been working out. You know, 
She only gets halfway into her set before she has to go off on duty. It's the stress ball reliever thing. <laughs> she only uses her left hand to, to use the stress ball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what, Catwoman? This gray is still available at the moment because it's not fully dry. So let's fix your boots. Yeah, this is actually, Catwoman turned out pretty good so far. Nice. But now we need to uh, get a couple of cops. Put some skin on them. You know, skin some cops. We can get some skin in the game. Worst thing is they even sculpted his stupid toothpick. Oh. <laughs> I mean that's integral to his character. It is, but jumping Jiminy. What color do I paint his frickin' toothpick? Here you go. Bony spikes. Well, bony spikes? Yeah, why not? It's too flesh toned, but I might do that one. I, I don't think that it's too thing. flesh toned. I think it's fine. Foop. So right now I'm just dealing with his uh, hands. Which I know none of you can see me what I'm doing because I've got it upside down. It happens. His hands are annoyingly meaty. Annoyingly meaty? Meaty, yes. Annoyingly meaty. I got big hands and I cannot lie. Jimmy boy. Oh, don't go growling yet. You got another 40 minutes. Is it that close to three already? Yeah. Another 35 minutes will be there. Wow. Time's flying. I guess so.
police gear. And GCPD black. Her pants? No, it's like a like a belt pouch for a walkie-talkie. Oh, mm-hmm. that. Yeah, yeah. Her pants are also black, if I'm not mistaken. No, she's she's in jeans. Oh, they're all the way to the jeans. That's right. Yep. That's right. I forgot. Yep, 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 yep. Sneak in there. Let's get a little dabble. No, too big dabble. Little dabble, do you? Fred Flintstone wants his catchphrase back. Yeah, but that but do. <laughs> Did you know? Here's a bit of trivia for you. And it is not Batman related. Okay, all right. Scooby Doo. Where are you? What's his catchphrase? Rutlow Raggy? What did he always say? Scooby Dooby Doo? Scooby Dooby Doo! He did not. He was not the first one to utter that phrase. Really? Nope. Well, who did? About five to six years prior, a certain little girl named Pebbles. Said the phrase, Scooby Dooby Doo. No. Yep. Pebbles Flintstone was the first one to say Scooby Dooby Doo. Cute. Years before Scooby said it. Which I find utterly amazing. I was watching an episode a few years ago of the Flintstones when that happened. And I was like, wait, what? (laughs) And I had to rewind it. Sure enough. Pebbles Flintstone said, Scooby Dooby Doo. They were just testing it out, seeing if the audience laughed at it, before giving it to an actual full character. Well, named (laughs) Scooby-Doo. Isis, where are you at? Let me see you again. much as I want to do that, I'm going to avoid Isis. Can't do your eyeballs like that. I have to do it a different way. Mm. So, Linkster. Yeah? Do you think Martin should sign up for uh, AARP now? I don't know. How old is he? I'm thinking like mid-20s. Early 90s, you know, one of the two. Um, aren't you older than me and should have signed up a few years ago?
Oh, so you're younger than me. Mm. <laughs> Screw you, old man. <laughs> hey, age is but a number. Yeah, an important number that we use to base a lot of our life decisions on. Like whether you go to jail or not. Or whether I should sign up for American Ninja Warrior or not. Oh. Such a great little show. It is, and it's back for the 2023 season. Dang. All right. What's next on the gravy train of ideas? skin. You go, but why do you need zombie skin? We're not doing zombies today, are we? Nope. But I need zombie skin. I'm going to pop the plug, though. Because both Gordon... And Bullock's shirt are this really light tan. And zombie skin just happens to be really good color. Nice. For their shirts. So I'm going to use it for their shirts. The beauty is the two of them have a highly um, detailed, stylized, whatever you want to call it, tie. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very pronounced on the sculpt. Hmm. So the tie is going to be like super easy to paint. Oh, nice. That's really good. Unlike others where the tie is like really tight to their skin. Yeah. jacket didn't want to put that on your jacket uh oh oh well I'll go over it I'm gonna get way in deep me too. Not that deep. Too deep. A little less deep. Come back. There. That's deep enough. Just doing everything in my willpower not to shove my head right under the camera. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> That's why I have this magnifying glass. I can't shove my head under. It does make it easier for, you know, 
kicking stuff on screen. Yes and no. It just keeps it better for me to be able to see. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just wait till we start painting the rest of this game. You mean there's more? A lot more. Yeah, I know. I know. There's a bunch. But that's later. But we gotta get some playtesting in, too. And by that, I mean just, just playing. That's, that's what we're doing. Oh, yeah. We definitely need to play. So I don't want to paint these guys and then just never play with them. I mean, come on. Yeah. They just seem silly. Very. You know, in the picture, it shows that she's got a badge on her front, but I can't quite see on the mini where that would be. Might be a little too um, coated with paint. I mean, maybe. I'll skip it for now. I'm running into an issue here. And what issue is that? I need Bullock's jacket paint. Gotta fix up a few mistakes. Just one. Just one where I tapped his uh, hat and his uh, the outside of his hat thing. Okay, fair enough. Jimmy, my boy, you need some black. You need black, and you need black in a little thin brush style. You want your black back? Nope. Okay. My black is still viable on this sheet over here. You can just barely see my brush touching it. Ooh, you're a brush toucher? Rose. Yeah, that's what I thought, Minecraft Villager. My brush is touching all the right spots. Hey -o. I 
I need to grab a flesh stone. Kill subs over here. Oh, thank you. Don't let me that one. And this body's wings. I'm taking that back. I need to fix the shirt. Sure. Go flirt. Alright, Jimmy. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. I screwed up your jacket, didn't I? The brown is still slightly viable. It's viable enough. Viable enough to poke through the uh, drying layer to get to the paint underneath it? And to hit his jacket up a little bit. Because he does not have six fingers on one hand. Uh-huh. He's got a sixth finger on his jacket. <laughs> I see. He just, you know, he dropped it. <laughs> just kind of dangling there. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, my boy. You look good. Got a problem, though. What's that? Got a problem, Jimmy, my boy. Jimmy, my boy. You and I got a problem. Yeah. I need to paint his hair white. Mm-hmm. But most importantly, I gotta paint his glasses. I don't know if it's true. And they're thin wireframe glasses, too. Never have to make it easy on you. Nope. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Crusted sore. <laughs> Sounds like a delectable color. Let's see what crusted sore really looks like. Yep. Looks like Harvey Bullock's tie. That's what it looks like. Oh, it's really nice that they made a Harvey's tie color. Yep, an all crusty soreness. Just like Jim, his tie is not tight. I'm struggling with this tie on Montoya over here. Really? I don't know why. It's definitely not super pronounced. I think I'd be doing better. Well, that's probably why. I mean, I had difficulty with the cops' ties. They were 
not pronounced too well. That's probably it. These two, I mean, it's like... Gordon's tie is like flared out so much, it's huge. <laughs> Must be nice. It was actually. <laughs> oh, hey, dead black. You still got that over there? I certainly do. I could use it a little bit here. Thank you. I just need a tap. Because my black is almost dead. So I need a light, very light refresher. Because Harvey's got black hair. So does Montoya. Yeah, but his black hair... I bet it's not enough. In a bun? Little, in a little bun, yeah. No, his black hair is all scraggly. Not only is it scraggly, but this insane detail brush is actually too big. Really? Yeah. That doesn't bode well. For the stuff I got to paint that's black for him? Yeah. It is not well. All right. Let's get some flesh in here. Let's get some flesh up in here. Let's get it started. Ha! Let's get it started with flesh. And we just keep painting and painting and painting and painting and painting and painting. painting, painting, painting. Great, now I've got the polka stuck in my head. The polka? I say, don't you know? You say, you don't know, but I say, take me out. Do, do, do. Do, time stone. Say, take me out. Do, 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 do. Beverly Hills, that's where I want to be. Give me the time to Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills. All right, Bullock. Um, you took that crusted sword or whatever the hell that color was back. I did. I don't, I don't think I touched it. You took that one back. I took the, the zombie bone fleshy thingy, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where is it? You got some sitting there on your plate? Itty bitty right there. Yoink! I only need that little itty bitty 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 bit. <laughs> because Mr. Bullock here needs a toothpick. Yeah. The 
It's hard to differentiate it between his mouth and his the rest of his face. But it'll do, I guess. Center frame. <laughs> oh. All right, Jimmy, my boy. You know what we need for you? What? <laughs> we need an O three pen. Yeah. Or maybe an O one. Burnable. 01 or 03. I'm not sure which. Those are the next things I'll use because I'll do his glasses after I paint his neck. I'll be right back. Folks. I think we're doing pretty well over here. Not fantastic. Doing pretty well. to line up just right again but you know okay let's get some hands We will do his glasses in a moment. I want to pull out this color. And I got to pull out a, a, a silver as well soon. So I gotta do their pistols. And I still need the brown. No, I'll use the oak brown for her vip. Ah, I see. But, Jimmy, my boy. bad trigger discipline if I have to say so. How so? Well, her index finger is resting on the trigger with oh. her, her gun cocked up at a jaunty angle. <laughs> oh, they all are. I guess when you're in a comic universe where you know 90% of the time your shots aren't going to kill somebody. I guess you can be a little lax. I mean, Gordon here's he's running with his finger on the trigger. And he's commissioner. He should know better. Well, he's got to be ready to fire at any at a moment's notice. Yeah. But And besides, in a cartoon universe, it doesn't matter if you have your finger on the trigger at all times. You never hit anything anyways. There. Okay, 
and here is your government issued useless piece of equipment that makes you look threatening. Oh, thanks. Hey, Jim, you had white hair. Apparently. I think it was white. Yep, it was white. <laughs> Hence the reason why I just painted it white. Arr. It'd be kind of weird if you painted it white and he really had like a salt and pepper thing or like a gray. Yeah. At first I thought it was a gray. Cause I'm like, Wait a minute, he wasn't pure white, was he? Oh well, yeah, yeah, I guess he was. I mean, he looks pretty white to me. Yeah, he was white. To, all right. He was white-haired. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now, I'll let him dry for a few moments. It's almost 3 o'clock. Let's look at 01, shall we? 01's thick. It's very thin. Very, very thin. 03's a little ticker. Okay. I think we're done. 03 then? 03. Oh, of course I gotta do inside of the hand in between. Ooh, good. good thing not a lot of people are gonna be noticing in here. Oh. And in actuality, 03 is not the right size. Really? I actually have to go up to the biggest pen I've got. 05. Oh, wow. Well. I needed just a little, uh, to quit touching his hair. <laughs> He just dyed it white. Come on. Yep. Yep. I can go back over this skin tone. Probably have to. fucking up his face. Oh no. Don't take that. Oh no, I fucked up his face bad. Oh. I'm gonna need that kill set flashback. <laughs> Alright, let me pass it over. Ah, well, when you're done. Are you done with her flash? Well, you know, I've done the first pass, and then I'm going back to fix the mistakes I made with that first pass. So, you know, there's that. Oh. I only need it for a second. I won't need it for a little bit. Very minor fixes. Like the big black streak across his forehead. He's not rogue. His black nose. Mole on his right cheek. Didn't know he had a mole, did you? He doesn't anymore. Well, you won't as soon as I'm done tapping on it.
that. I tapped that one and it just spread. Oh, no. Dude, you got skin cancer. Oh, no. It, the kind of cancer that it attacks your clothing? No, his face. It was, a, it was a black dot on his face. I tapped it with the skin tone and it just like smeared across his face. Here you go. Oh, oh thank you for the flashback. Appreciate it. Because I'm not flash he's done. In fact, my flesh is so done, I have a I have an eyeball to that, or two, or three, or four. Nice. Oh, look, I might wait on the eyeballs to let fully dry, because I still have to take the old brown out. Wait, I have this brush still. I have this brush still. Oop. Water, oak brown. May the two of you meet. Less shaky, more painty. All right, big brush, big brush, big brush, no whammies. <laughs> I was just about to say, well, no whammies. <laughs> You know what? I watered that oak brown and ended up watering it too much. Oops. So we just get a touch more oak brown. Pick it up. Get her up in here. Up in here. Up in here. And grab that whip, which is going to be brown, because I don't know what color it should be. It's brown now. Fair. And it is made out of cowhide, so... How now? Brown cow. No, really. You can stop shaking any moment. It would make it a lot easier. Not with the bikers going up and down the road. have to do some eyeballs on you soon. Did I poke the bear? No, I did not poke the bear. I didn't poke, I poked the cat. What? I almost poked a freaking whip. That's all wet. What? I'm painting her whip and I almost put my finger on it. Ah, I see. It's not a good combination. Cat with a wet whip. Yeah. And me putting my fingers on it and then trying to put my fingers on her freaking body to steady my fingers. Just getting fingers everywhere. In all the wrong places. I got fingers in the wrong places. My brain is basically on radio mode right now, and I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, I got friends in crawl spaces. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Don't 
report me, please. No, I don't actually. <laughs> that was an old Bob and Tom joke. Oh, yeah? It was really funny. It has been really weird. Bob and Tom, radio personalities from Indianapolis, Indiana. Mm -hmm. They... Bob retired about, God, almost 10 years ago? Yeah. But they still call it the Bob and Tom Show. Well, they're just going to call it the Tom Show? I would have thought they would have called it something different. Because Bob isn't part of it anymore. At all. Maybe Bob's still there in spirit? He is. Like, if they still do the same thing, there's no real reason to not keep calling it the same thing. The show also is, has not been the same. It just has not been the same. No. Because it used to be a fantastic, funny show. Yeah. But, you know, there are those people that are like, don't like this stuff, so you must not like it too. I mean, there's there's a level of humor and a level of you know oh granted not humor but when it offends like one person and they have to fight to make it so you can't enjoy it either well it's a difference between I don't enjoy it and this is specifically targeting me yeah this well, isn't funny this is just bigotry true Very true. Kind of like how a chat GPT can make all the Jesus jokes you want, but ask it about Muhammad and it will refuse. That is weird. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what was it? Oh, what about the other jokes? Where it'll make all the jokes in the world about white guys, mm -hmm. but you ask it any other, you know, joke, ask it to make a joke about a black person or a Chinese guy. Oh, no, can't do that. Yep. Okay. And you're, you're being very specific. And I appreciate you considering the fact that your technology can be used for nefarious purposes. But I don't think a blanket statement like that is the way to go about trying to fix it. Yeah. I mean, I've used chat GTP for stuff. But, yeah, no, it doesn't... It doesn't like certain things. Yep. You word things in certain ways, it'll take it just fine. But if you word it in a specific way, nope, don't like it. It's kind of like online um, parental controls. Kind of, yeah. I mean, I... I was trying to write a story for um, for this little article I was doing, mm -hmm. and I tried to get ChatGTP to write it in. The flavor, or not the flavor, what am I saying? The tone. You're trying to write it like a ranch Dorito chip? Yeah, yeah. I wanted it written in a tone like it was coming from the 45th president of the U.S. Ah. 
It was not meant to be derogatory. It was... I was setting the zombie apocalypse during his presidency. Right. Which, you know, if you're going to be historical about something or do a setting that's historical, you know, it, not historical, but in a time... You're trying to match themes at that point. And, right. And style and, and such. Correct. Well, Chat TPT would have none of it because it's like I'm sorry, I cannot portray, you know, da 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 da. da. I'm like, really? I mean, it's just like you know, profanity filters triggering on normal words. Yeah, there was the whole Pokemon fiasco. One of the Pokemon is called Cofagrius. Cafagrius? Or something to that nature, yes. With But the F A G in the middle, it was like, no, don't like that. So you can't trade that Pokemon because it has a bad word in it. You can't trade it, but it can post it up there on the screen if you look at. It's ridiculous. That is a little. Well, you know, I always look back at this one particular song that was pretty famous back in the 60s. Yeah? Called The Name Game. Oh, I remember The Name Game. Let's do Bo. Bo, 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 Banana, Banana, Be by Bo. You know, that one? Yep. Well, I was like... Okay, I want to hear you do the name Chuck. Yeah. Nope, nope, not going to do that name, are we? Nope, let's not do that and say we never did. <laughs> Got to have some, uh, some censor on that. Can't do any name, can you now? Like you said you could. It works with any name. You're just not allowed to say every name. <laughs> No! Okay. Whew. Thought for a minute that I ran the black across her face. Oh. Isis would have been mad. Because I can't hold Isis very well. I think it's been a bad paint day for both of us. <laughs> Usually I'm okay. Well, I also gotta not hold Isis over anybody either. Just tempting fate at that point? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you need the black, the black is over here. Okay. I will need it in a little bit. But I won't need it for a little bit anyway. I am doing the black of the cat. And her base. In Spanish, el gato in el sombrero. No, she's not wearing a sombrero. No. Oh. Well, should. The cat cannot wear a sombrero. Why not? It's a cat in the hat. Not that kind of cat. This cat was not voiced by Mike Myers. <laughs> Didn't go around hitting people with baseball bats? For some odd reason, every movie after Austin Powers was just Austin Powers reskinned. I mean, there's there's a certain level of Hollywood where it worked. Do it again. Well, it continued to work for three movies. Sort of worked. Yeah. The third movie left a lot to be desired. 
because sure I didn't mind Fat Bastard. It was more Gold Member I didn't like. Yeah. Just it just the whole you know, him flaking skin off and then eating it, picking skin just yeah. I mean absolutely gross. Exactly. And I, I think that was used a bit too much. Fair. I think um, my favorite character out of the entire series of Austin Powers movies yeah. has to be the Fraulein. <laughs> Alarm! <laughs> Rip headphone users. <laughs> Would you be a deer and call my son in? Stop! <laughs> you, know what? you know what, guys? I can't... Yeah, you know what? I will do it. I will do it. I'll paint your shoes after I'm done with the base. Can I have that black? You could. Ooh, thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> going to do a little bit. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to paint his shoes. That's just what I'm doing now. And Jimmy Gordon's shoes. So as it stands right now, they're wearing white sneakers. I mean, that's pretty normal color for sneaker. But they're beat cops. they got to have brown shoes on. Yeah. Well, they're not beat cops. They're just cops in general. And as you know, all cops must wear brown shoes. It's a Gotham City fact. It's a standard uh, attire. Uniform? Yep. Standard uniform given out at the academy. Yep, and they're not allowed to take them off ever. Detectives wear blue and black. Commissioners wear mustard and brown. Yeah, and there's nothing you can do to change it. I think I'm going to have to change something here. Yeah? Well, maybe not. What would you need to change? The fact that I don't have any black left to finish up this base? Uh, I did steal it. I might be able to get away with it. I still have some on the brush. glop right there. Mm -hmm. And Jimmy, my boy, we forgot to paint your shoes. So we got to get a darker brown. One I haven't used on these guys yet. Then do up your shoes. I mean, I could do oak brown, but I'll go dirt splatter if you prefer. You know what? I will take a dirt splatter. In fact, I can give you the black too. Nah, I don't need the black. I just well, need the dirt splatter. Too late. Because don't you need the black to paint the base? Or do you have enough to paint the base? Oh, well, I gave myself enough. Okay. And I already hit the ba base uh, once already. So oh, good. I'm just touching it up. Especially around the shoes. Ooh, excuse me. Excuse it. Oh, there 
is something else I need to paint. Dang nabbit. What? What are you missing? Bullock. And his stupid hat. <laughs> He's got a black band around it. Oh, I hate that. Like I, I had a hard time doing uh, Officer Montoya's uh, belt. Just a black belt around the, the waist. Yeah, a thin belt like that. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Almost done, which is good because it's almost three thirty. It is. Oh wow! We got another couple minutes. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back through and hit his uh, shoes or hit his uh, base again. Call that done. What done? Officer Montoya? No. Oh. Probably keep her farther away from my wet paint, but yeah. Right, I'm just finishing up a shoe, and then I just gotta touch up his uh, base and um, the other base, and then we'll be done. Nice. Getting some good progress. Yep, that means we got three minis to go after I'm finished with this shoe here. And a certain mess has shown up. Right on cue. Yeah. Hello. Hello. How's it going? I'm good. Good. You're here just in time to see the end. The end of times. The end of days. The end of painting, maybe. The end of painting, too. Jeff you fun? Nope. <laughs> well, I knew you did. I, school is not fun. <laughs> you kidding? <laughs> school is awful. No, I had no problems in school. How many kids were in your uh, class for middle school, high school? Yeah, 300. That's it wasn't the 2,000 you had. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, because I know like West Texas or something had like 14 million kids in one classroom. <laughs> yep. Well, I've got some good news and then some bad news. <laughs> you finished her and then you dropped her in the paint. No. The good news is that I have finished painting and it is lovely. The bad news is this Reaper Pro paintbrush has started to come apart. <laughs> it Its paint is flaking. Its paint is flaking? Yeah, like, look on my stream really quick. One second. Hang on. What do you mean the paint is flaking? You see the wood? Yeah. This red covering on the paintbrush is flaking off and is flaking down into my uh, oh. plate. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, so uh how's the how's the brush itself holding up? Beautiful. Oh, well, don't care about the look of the brush as long as the actual bristles are still good. Oh yeah, still lovely. Still lovely and hopefully pointy. Yep. Good. That is all we require. Excuse me. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. I am set with that, set with that, set with that. Even I got to finish my guys, too. I'll kind of tip them sideways so you can see them a little bit. All I have yeah. to do is paint some dots for some eyes. Let's get her down into the light. Pew. Officer Montoya. Kind of weird foggy. Why is mine all foggy looking? I don't know. Does your lens need cleaning or something? I don't know. Better? Maybe? Yeah. Anyhow, um, let's go over to this. Hang on. Dizzy part. And if you don't know that joke that we do yeah. multiple times. Dr. Horrible Sing Long Bug. Yep. Go take a look. And we're not talking about um, the one that the kids did. There was a quote unquote prequel that a bunch of kids did to it. I didn't know that. I'll have to show it to you. It was entertaining to see them as high schoolers. <laughs> cute. Yeah, it was cute. It was definitely cute. And they did the whole singing and stuff too. So, nice. Yeah. But that's not Batman. We just did Batman. And uh, we got... One more week of painting left. And then we'll get some playing in. Yes. So, um, that's it for this stream. Batman's done. Yep. You know, this today, these last uh, guys are next week. Batman, the Robin, mm -hmm. and Batgirl. And then we got the game playing that. We already said that several times. Oh, I know. said that several after, times. After we've painted, we're going to play the game? A um, couple days from now, we're going to go back to Rio. 
Yeah, go and keep on going with the campaign. And we're gonna have some fun. Carnival and zombies. Yes. You should tune in because it was actually quite fun. Yeah, it was great. And um, maybe next week we might see some a little invasion going on. Some some, uh, sci-fi invader types. Zombies. In space. I don't call them zombies. Xenos? The Xenos, I don't know. They're just aliens. Xenos. They don't, they don't, to me, they don't feel like a, a zombie kind of thing. The way Zombicide Invader feels to me is it feels more like the space marines in the movie Alien going up against the horde of aliens that were converging on the ship kind of thing. I, I prefer if they looked a bit closer to Starship Troopers, honestly. Or even Starship Troopers, like those and the bugs. Yeah. You know, that's what it reminds me of more than space zombies. Maybe they are zombies, and we just don't know what an alien zombie looks like. Who knows? But that's another time. For now, we're going to catch you all later. See you. Bye.